So the question reads that travelers to Mars would have to endure something, comma, avoiding something, comma, plus contending with, comma, and perhaps even ward off something. Now we know that this question is testing for parallelism because we have the trigger word and. When we have and, we need to check for parallelism in a list. So anything that occurs in the list needs to be perfectly parallel and balanced. Now we can see this is a list of actions because the list ends with perhaps even ward off. Ward off is a verb, an action. So whatever is in the list must be parallel to ward. So if we take a quick vertical scan of the verbs in the list, and we can use the end of the answer choices to actually catch quick elimination points. We can notice that A and C say contending, right? We're trying to say that the travelers to Mars would have to contend. So contending is obviously not parallel. A and C will be out. Now let's look at the other list. We have contend here. We have avoid here we have endure so b looks perfectly fine because b is reading they would have to endure comma avoid comma content comma even word of so this looks perfectly fine i'm going to hold on to b if we take a look at d delta now the would have is actually changed to comma having to endure this construction is a present participle modifier And this is enclosed between two commas. And we know that generally modifiers within commas are not really essential parts of the sentence, right? Because this is just adding extra information uh, about the travelers. So the actual sentence becomes travelers to Mars avoid plus content and even ward off. Now, if you look at it logically, this is the usage of the simple present tense. And the simple present tense, for example, I live in Bangalore, is used to present general information to someone. So I live in Bangalore, this is general information. I'm I'm stating my current residential status to someone. So if I use the same concept and look at this sentence, am I trying to present general information that travelers to Mars generally do this, that they generally avoid, generally content, and generally even ward off something? It's not the case, right? Because we don't have travelers to Mars yet. So if you differentiate that with B, we have the would have to end here. Now, if I use the word, think about it, we generally use the word for hypothetical situations. For example, I would want a Lamborghini. or I would buy a Lamborghini. With either of these statements, we're just trying to imagine a situation, correct? So that's what B is trying to convey, that the travelers to Mars would have to go through things like these. But if I present it as general information in the form of avoid content, I'm stating that they already do that. Now, if you look at E, E has the same mistake because now we have travelers to Mars who would have to endure. Now, this is a relative clause. But just like how this participle modifier was giving extra information about the travelers, this relative clause is also giving extra information about the travelers and can be read around. So again, we have the travelers to Mars avoid, content, and even ward off which is again the use of simple present tense to present general information. So logically, D and E, even though they kind of look parallel, they don't make sense. So this leaves us with the right answer choice, B for Bravo.